Right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. A weekly general tarot reading, February 24th to uh, March 1st, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So the first card here, which uh, represents the topic of your week, is going to be the uh, Nine of Wands, uh, followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is to be the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges that uh, you will have to overcome and for what it does look like, guys. That is to be a pretty important week for you. Uh, we do have the death card at that position. Uh, standing next is going to be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the tree of wands. Uh, moving next, it is uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around, how people are going to look at you. That is to be the king of pentacles. And the last one that we do have for you, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, guys, uh, that is to be the Seven of Pentacles. So quite interesting one. Uh, well, uh, long story short here, Capricorns, um, if I have to summarize the reading straight away, it is like up until, uh, for example, if up until this moment, you could not kind of like pick up the pieces together and you would, you are to be baffled what to do from now on uh, with your career, with your relationship or with your life. Well, that thing is going to become, uh, is going to reveal itself throughout this week. I mean, after this week, after the events of this week, you will pretty much know what to do with yourself, with your relationship life, with your career life as well, etc, etc. So what do we have here? Um, Queen of Swords as energies with the Nine of Wands as a, a topic of the situation. These both cards, first of all, they are a active friends. And both of them are speaking for experience in the sense of that you have to draw from your experience. Energy wise, that experience that you are going to draw from is going to come from the negative enterprises you had to went through uh, in a previous situations. What I mean is that you're going to draw experience from previous failures, disappointments, breakups, uh, and so on and so forth. And that itself is going to make you quite of a um, emancipated person, if you will throughout uh, throughout the week itself or a, in generally a person who can push their things through right so no matter what kind of a challenge no matter what kind of a uh, a poignant situation is standing in front of you no matter who is standing in front of you as well uh, you will have no problem whatsoever at the end of the day to push your your personal things uh, through not to mention that with these energies as well Capricorn many things are to be revealed because the energies of the Queen of Swords it makes you forewarned okay so what is to happen into the future based on the current circumstances which again are going to be collected through your experience so the week itself is going to be dappled with uh, hunches for example with uh, acute senses as well that you're gonna have for one thing or another and some of you may mistake or may kind of take that as an intuition but it is not an intuition it is just what you know from a experience and it is very very important to listen to it because this is how you basically progress throughout the week at least according to those cards this is how you you simply make your things happen strengthening your uh, family your relationship uh, being more productive career-wise and so on and so forth that leads us itself to the um general topic of the week which is the nine of wands and that is also a card that kind of reflects to the experience and it kind of tells us what you are going to do with all this with, with all these energies which are making you more determined which are making you more careful uh, which are making you more anticipating as well for what is to happen and how to take on it well uh, for what it seems with those cards guys uh, or with the nine of wands you are going to use this knowledge skill and as well a experience once again 
to force a necessary changes into your life, necessary changes in terms of career and necessary changes in terms of relationship. Uh, and we're going to see why in the death card. But for now, those changes are conscious changes. What I mean is that you are the master of those um, of how you are to shuffle your daily routine, your career structure, your relationship structure as well. So pretty much you do have control over everything throughout this uh, throughout this week. And at the end of the day, you do have also the prerequisites to end up exactly in the place that you want to end up ultimately. Uh, one more thing here with those uh, two cards, it is that um, this is you, you got to take this week as a, a preparation for a, something big that comes that is looming on the horizon uh, because the nine of wands kind of speaks for a storm that looms on the horizon. But that storm doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It means difficult thing. All right. So this week could be a preparation for you taking on a different job, a, a difficult job, different project, a tough person to be with as well, kind of like a troublesome relationship and et cetera, et cetera. And through dwelling upon your previous experience in similar situations and upon your uh, and, um, emancipated nature that these energies are going to um, amplify throughout the week you definitely once again can push your things through and as we spoke about changes moving through the to the third card here which is the challenge that you will have to overcome not everything around you in your possession currently it is for you to keep in the future with the death card because the death here points that everything it is in flux and you need a, a liberation you need basically to clear room for new things to come around um here i'm going to take a couple of minutes to a bit explain you the death card so the death card does not mean death all right it just it just points the arrival of the fourth horseman of the apocalypse here who takes away what no longer has future okay so you have to that is to be the challenge to identify what it is around you that no longer has a future like for example a sweater that you had um, interaction with uh, with up until now but now the things went so complicated and you said so much negative things to one another that simply this thing doesn't have any future it could be related to some sort of a family endeavor as well it could be related as well to some sort of a project also but you have to be pretty objective for it and that object, uh, objectivity is going to come from the uh, energies here, which once again are going to forewarn you. Uh, you are simply going to have the information and through your experience, you will be able to make those judgments and decisions, which is worth moving forward with and which does not worth moving forward with as well. And uh, once again, the challenge is going to be to clear out the room because uh, you're not going to take those departures or severance of, uh, of ties uh, very lightly. OK, because, for example, you will, you may identify that you want to uh, sell your your car, let's say, because your car is uh, almost a pile of junk. All right. But you do have that sentiment that this card holds a, such a sentimental value to you. So you are going to find it very repulsive to sell it. Although you will identify that that is exactly what you got to do, right? Or to get rid of it. And these kind of, uh, such kind of a challenge we are talking about uh, here with uh, the death card. Now, moving next is going to be the uh, gifts and the blessings. One of the best cards in that position, really. Tree of Wands. Tree of Wands uh, tells us a few things here. Uh, you are going to be gifted with a solid patterns, solid foundation from which you can step on. That could be the foundation could be your family. The, fo the foundation could be your uh a stable job for example certain uh, circle of friends but nonetheless you are going to be gifted with a solid foundation from which you can step in or step on excuse me and from there you gotta challenge yourself this is the growth from the three of wands that you got that you have to place your own challenges you can't expect that those challenges are going to come on their own accord but with the uh with the forewarn uh, nature of the uh, Queen of Swords and the uh, boosted personal, uh, how can I say it? A, um, 
Uh, it's kind of like personal determination. Probably it is the word that I'm searching for. You will have no problem to, to identify what is to be challenging and what is to be uh, kind of like a exciting for you to do. Because uh, th this is the trait of uh, the Tree of Wands. It is like you are simultaneously challenging yourself, but also it's kind of like exciting to kind of jump into this uh, into this challenge and the next one that we do have it is how people are going to take on you what kind of a person people will think you are and that is the king of pentacles so in this position king of pentacles is simultaneously good and bad uh, on a bad side here or on the negative side with the king of pentacles people are going to see you quite self-absorbed or in other words uh, someone who is uh, not so very open for to spend time with others all right no someone that it is not that open to share unless there is something in it for them and the other way how people are gonna uh, look at you with the king of pentacles it is a generous person but as long as you identify that you do have a use of that interaction or this enterprise you know or this um how can i say it um this endeavor uh, now that's a good thing, I think, because the very least people are not going to take you as a fool because, you know, those who are taken as a fool, they usually got abused. I mean, their trust and their resources, but not this time around with you. And people also are going to see you very protective because this is what King of Pentacles does. King of King of Pentacles protects and consolidates the uh, what have been achieved thus far. And only if it is stable enough then it goes for something new and this is how you once again identify what is worth proceeding with and what is worth kind of like a um, clearing out or sever from your current life environment and the last one that we do have it is the seven of pentacles this is the guidance that tower is offering so for you capricorn uh seven of pentacles points that this week does not have to take enormously fast paced all right it could be something uh, it could be a very peaceful and slowly progressing week that we do have just let me uh look at the first card so what what we said here it is that you have to identify what is no longer uh, serve you any favor what is what are those things that are in flux around you and as we said you may struggle doing it you may struggle identifying and you may struggle as well being determined to sever those ties and with the seven of pentacles here points that you have to take your time if that's your case because what is the key here to uh, actually make the, the the right approach into these new changes that you are to be in control of making it is the um the definition of pros and cons okay so if if one thing gives you more consequences than prosperity then it has no room around you okay so for example uh you do have someone that you love but that person makes you very very miserable every time you speak that just for example well then you do have more consequences than prosperity from it so simply that person needs to go it may be difficult but it needs to go um like i said with the car i mean you love the car but it's just it's a pile of junk so you do have more consequences than prosperity and you gotta let it go you may have a rough time into your family, but you know that your, for example, wife is going to be always by your side, no matter what. And it loves you and you do have children together. Yeah, the marriage could be a bit rocky at the time, but you do have more prosperity than consequences. And that is something that needs to stay. So that's why it is important week to identify what it's worth going with forward into the future and simply, you know, doing it without having any uh, remorse about it and also identifying what it does not worth and leaving it behind with having no remorse whatsoever. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn for uh, February 24th to March, to March 1st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And um, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase as such. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.